Hi friends! Okay, so this episode of Sunday Setup, we are going to be getting into some freezer meals for breakfast, uh, meal prepping our lunches, and meal planning for the week. If you're new to my um, Sunday setup uh, series, first of all, hi, welcome, my name is Gia. Um, and I pretty much film what I do to prepare myself and my family uh, for the up and coming work week and school week. And so today we're gonna be just focusing on, like I said, meal prep and meal planning. Um, but typically I like to do the girls hair and pick out their clothes and everything. If you're interested in learning more about what I do for the entire week to prepare myself, you can download my free Sunday setup checklist, which is down below. First of all, I'm going to be making an uh, egg roll in a bowl for my lunches this week. Because I have to be honest with you guys, I've been hitting up Chick-fil-A quite a bit <laughs> these last couple of weeks. And I really want to get back into the keto lifestyle. All the recipes I'll be sharing today are keto friendly. So today I'm going to be doing, like I said, um, egg roll in a bowl for my lunches. I'm going to be making some freezer egg muffins for breakfast because I'm scrambling eggs in the morning it takes up so much time and so I just want to cut that time down so I'm going to be doing that and then I'll be meal planning for the week. First what I'm going to do is make the egg roll in a bowl so let's get started with that. All right guys I got my wok here and I'm going to pour some sesame oil in here just to coat the bottom. Um, I'm going to warm this up. It smells really good gives a lot of flavor <clears throat> and so while my pan is warming I have an onion here some fresh ginger and some garlic that I'm gonna chop up I will leave a link down below to the video that I'm using for this recipe but um, I'm gonna kind of add my own flavor to it so and I'll just let you guys know what I change and stuff because um, I like my food flavorful <laughs> so uh, again uh, I will leave the link to the recipe down below A little bit of ginger um, ground ginger because I really like the flavor of ginger and I just want to make sure that this dish is flavorful Oops, sorry for the steam it smells so good right now so I'm just gonna cook this until the onions get a little bit more translucent which is a few more minutes and then I'll get ready to add the rest of the stuff in I'm gonna add some black pepper as well to this I'm not gonna add any salt because um, the soy sauce, I'll be using soy sauce and that does have quite a bit of salt in it. So you're not gonna really need salt, but I did add the pepper and again, this is stuff that I'm just adding. So now I'm gonna add my 
chopped, um, let's see, this is the stuff I got from Publix today, some coleslaw mix, and then I also bought some broccoli slaw to add some extra vegetables. I do like the taste of broccoli. And then I also bought some broccoli sprouts to add to this. Now, my husband is not going to eat this. So I can really, <laughs> if my husband was gonna eat this, I probably would not add the broccoli sprouts. But since this is just for me, I'm gonna add that in. And then instead of using, um, you can use any kind of meat you want to, but I'm gonna try this corn. This is, this is meatless and soy free grounds. Uh, the doctor that I'm following the recipe from, he highly recommends it. So I'm just gonna give it a try because I didn't want to use ground beef because it's kind of heavy to eat every day. So I'm gonna try it and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay, so this is what the corn, I hope I'm saying that right. This is what it looks like. Like I said, I bought in the freezer back pack, um, the freezer section of Publix. It was about $4.49 for the bag. Um, it looks like ground beef. I know it's derived from mushrooms, I think. The ingredients look pretty good. Um, if you're allergic to eggs, I would not recommend it. But yeah, I mean, it looks good. So I'm just gonna mix this up. Um, probably add a little bit more seasoning in here. And um, before I add, you know, my cabbage and my broccoli slaw and stuff, I'm gonna get this cooked. I think this is pretty, this is pre-cooked. So all you're doing is like warming it up. But I do want it to absorb a lot of that flavor that's at the bottom of the pan. So we're just gonna continue to cook this up. Now that this has cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna add some, some sriracha. I like heat, so I'll probably add, you know, I'm adding quite a bit, but if you don't like heat, you definitely don't wanna add it. But yep, I'm adding some sriracha here. I'm gonna add some more um, black pepper and probably a little bit more um, sesame oil because it's sticking to the pan here. Um, it's like almost like cooking mushrooms. So you know how mushrooms are really stick. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more sesame oil. And yeah, let that cook for a second and then I'm gonna add my slaw. So I added about half of the bag of the slaw and most of the broccoli slaw. Here, I'll show you. Most of the broccoli slaw and about half of this bag of the coleslaw. It smells delicious. I've added the soy sauce. If I had some rice vinegar i'd add it but unfortunately i don't so i'm just going to let this wilt down a little bit not too much because i i want to keep the crunch of a um egg roll you know so i'm going to add this i might add a little bit of apple cider vinegar since i don't have rice vinegar i think it would go really well and i saw in the comments of the other video that someone said they added it added it and it was really good so right now it smells delicious and I probably will taste it to see I added literally two of this small little capful of my Bragg's apple cider vinegar and it is delicious it definitely does I could taste it it brings out the flavor really nice mix so I think this is done I mean it's if you want to if you want your um cabbage cooked a little bit more you can um, I like mine just like this. It's crunchy enough for me. And I probably will add more sriracha sauce to the top once I fill up my containers. So, so let's go ahead and fill our containers up and then we'll move on to breakfast. Totally forgot to add my broccoli sprouts. So what I'll do is I'll add them to the top. Again, this is optional. I just like to add that nutritional value in there. And I do like the way these taste. So let's go ahead and get filling. Okay, we're all done. Okay, before I start my breakfast, gotta clean up real quick. So for my breakfast muffins, which are just egg muffins, I'm going to bake some uh, bacon. I like to bake my bacon because it comes out perfectly every time and it's less clean up. So I'm gonna bake these, the, these pieces of bacon so I can crumble them on our muffins. So to my eggs, I'm also gonna add some sauteed mushroom. I have this portobello mushroom here that I'm gonna chop up and saute with some spinach, with some salt, pepper. It's just salt and pepper and butter. And then here I have five eggs. I get my eggs from a local farmer and sometimes they're like really big. Like this could be a twin. A couple of times I've gotten like two yolks and one egg. So this is probably the equivalent of about six age eggs. Like I said, they're pretty large. So I'm just gonna start with this. I don't know if I'm gonna like these, so I don't wanna make like a whole dozen worth and then me not like them and then we, you know, I won't eat them. So I'm just gonna start out with six. 
So I've got about a tablespoon of butter here melting in my pan and I will add the mushrooms first and I'll just put a little pepper on the mushrooms. I'm not gonna put salt on it yet because the salt uh, brings the moisture out of the mushrooms and it dries the pan up really quick. So I'm just gonna put these mushrooms in. There's not too many mushrooms here. The spinach takes no time at all, so that'll be the last thing I add in. I was right, that one egg had two yolks in it. And so um, to this I'm gonna add I have a, I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. I don't think I have any more half and half left, but if you wanna increase your fat intake, definitely use heavy cream or half and half, but I'm just gonna use what I have here and add a little bit of that, salt and pepper to the eggs, and then they'll be ready to go in the muffin tin. By the way, if you haven't watched that video about my keto lifestyle, how I lost 18 pounds eating keto in one month, you can tap this eye right here to watch it and to learn more in case you're not familiar with um, the ketogenic diet. Mushrooms are just about done. I'm adding a little, I added a little bit more butter to the pan because now I'm gonna add my spinach. Put it on top here. Spinach cooks down quite a bit. So I'm gonna use this whole container. And like I said, I'm gonna add some salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. Yeah, that's gonna be delicious. Voila, all done. So I just cut this off and let this sit here. And now I'm gonna add the seasoning to my um, eggs. Here's what the bacon looks like after about 10 minutes. I'm gonna leave it in for another, uh, let's say three minutes or so. You definitely don't wanna just ignore it because it will burn up on you. So I'm gonna leave it in for a little bit longer because I want it extra crunchy for uh, the crumbles. Our bacon is done. I divvied up the mushrooms and the spinach up into 10 servings and I've sprayed um, the pan in 10 of the muffins because my goal is to try to make 10 but we'll see with these six eggs. And I, I transferred the eggs to this so it'll be easier to pour in here. So as the while the bacon's cool, bacon is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and add the spinach and mushrooms in the, the muffin tins first. What I tried to do was squeeze out the moisture. It's hard to do this one hand. <clears throat> from the spinach. I've never made these before and I know, but I have had scrambled eggs with spinach before and I really like it and mushrooms, so. I try to, like I said, release a lot of that moisture so that it doesn't end up in the eggs, but this is what it looks like. So now I'm going to add some cheese on top of that, um, and then I'll cut up my bacon, and then they'll be ready to bake. Here it is with the cheese. I like a lot of cheese in my eggs. Since I didn't add cheese to the egg mixture, I just put quite a bit in there. So now I'm just mixing this up again. Now we're going to pour it in. Don't want it to go too high because they need room to bake. Wow, it's literally perfect, right? Let's see, add a little bit more here. I don't wanna waste any of it. Where else can I add? All done. All right, so this is one and a half pieces of bacon. I literally just cut them up with my kitchen shears. So now I'm just gonna add them just a little bit. We'll see if I need more, just add them to the top of the muffins. Again, this is optional. You do not have to add this if you don't want, if you don't eat bacon. Still have some bacon left, so I think I'm just going to cut up um, this last strip here and add it. Um, this one I'll just eat right now. In the oven they go. I'm gonna bake these at 350 degrees until they get cooked, so I'll probably check them in about 10 minutes. This is such easy cleanup when you bake your bacon all you have to do is just throw this away in your pan your sheet pan is still clean all right so let's talk about my meal plan while the muffins are baking first of all this is definitely a budget friendly keto friendly uh, plan a meal prep for lunches and breakfasts I know for me if I don't prep myself not only mentally but like physically prep the stuff I'm going to fail. You know, preparation is key to eating healthy and eating in this lifestyle with this way. So, um, this is definitely budget friendly. Like I said, that that bag of corn was only like four forty nine for the whole bag, um, and then that yielded five lunches. And then the muffins, I figured I might eat two a day, if that. Um, so that will last you for the full work week, you know, five days. So it's definitely budget friendly. So now let's talk about my meal plan for our dinner. Now. To be honest with you, I only have to cook once 
this week, this upcoming week. Tonight, today's Sunday, so tonight we're gonna eat at my mom's. I'm gonna go pick up the girls because they spent the night there at my mom's last night. So we'll have dinner um, tonight there, and then I'll probably have leftovers from that for tomorrow night. Tuesday night I eat at my mom's again. I know I'm so blessed, right? Because we have Bible study. And Wednesday I plan on making some popcorn chicken coated in almond flour and seasoning and stuff, and some cheesy cauliflower um, mac and cheese. And I will definitely film that. Leave a comment down below or give me a thumbs up. That lets me know um, you'll wanna watch that, you'll wanna see that. So I'll film it if you guys are interested in seeing that. And then we'll eat that Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, it's just usually something simple like we'll order out some Caesar salads or we'll order the kids pizza or something like that and then that's it. Like I like to just keep it really simple but I have to know what we're going to eat in order to be su successful for the week instead of just, you know, going to Chick-fil-A like I normally do. All right, so let me check on the muffins and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Right, this is what they look like after about 10 minutes. Not quite done yet. That one all the way in the back there might be done but I don't think the rest of them are so I'm gonna give it maybe two more minutes I have no idea if these are done or not they feel done like they're not wiggly or anything I might I turn the oven off I might just let them sit in there with the oven off because they'll continue to cook for a few more minutes but I definitely don't want raw egg inside <laughs> all right I take them took them out just took them out they were probably in for a total of 15 minutes I think they're just about done at this point now, um, you know, if you wanted to add, sprinkle some extra cheese on there, you can. Um, or when you warm them up, you can sprinkle extra cheese on, which I think I might do. Um, but now I've got to let these cool completely. Um, I'll probably let them cool for about maybe five to ten minutes, and then take them out of the muffin pan, then let them cool again, because they have to be cooled completely before you can put them in the freezer. And now I'm all set for my breakfasts for the week. All right, here they are out of the pan, and now we're gonna let these cool a little bit longer, like all the way cool, so that I can freeze them. I wrap these in wax paper individually, then I'll put two and put them in foil like this, and wrap them, and then I'll put you in, put them in a Ziploc bag, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. These are all ready to hop in the freezer. So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it and I gave you some inspiration for meal planning and meal prepping. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, but with the right preparation and the right inspiration, we can all be on this healthy eating journey together. Um, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.